Hey guys, me again, and season one is finally over. 2021 is right around the corner. I need to talk about something really special, but throughout the past year and a half, I've covered pretty much everything. I talked about games and kid cuisine, what else is there? But the end of the year is approaching, and 2020 hasn't exactly been a cakewalk. My shelf isn't exactly screaming games though, like what am I supposed to talk about, knack? Oh, the desk, I forgot I have games there too. Perfect. So Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal is a game about taking Looney Tunes characters and giving them the same gritty tone as a Smash Bros. Brawl character, earning it that big fat E10 plus rating. Ugh, they're angry, my 9 year old can't play that. It was released on the Wii, Xbox 360, and PS2 Y. How come it didn't release on the PS3? That makes no sense. Either way though, this game has always looked pretty fun and I'm a huge fan of it even though I've never played it, can't you tell? But with me being such a huge fan, maybe I should play it. <laughs> Man, I can hardly contain my excitement. This is Looney Tunes at Me Arsenal on the Wii. I can't do this. Okay, so that didn't really pan out like I was hoping. I could try some of these other games. No. Well, I've never covered the book genre before, but <laughs> why not? Great first impression so far. Remember when you were a kid and the Scholastic Book Fair would come into town? It was always so magical, plus it had not books. Spy gadgets, erasers, posters, and from what I've heard, some book fairs even had video games back in the day. I never had any actual video games in mind, but I did get a lot of video game related stuff, like erasers that looked like game controllers, gaming posters, basically all the stuff I named before with like a cheap picture of Mario or something on it. But it was a book fair after all, and don't worry video game fans because books have got you covered. There was an entire Guinness World Record book entirely focused on games, not to mention a Minecraft book full of recipes, and of course, cheat code books. Cheat codes are the best, fun little combinations that make your head big, what's not to love? Cheat codes have always been a big part of video games, not necessarily in the sense that I can make myself invincible in GTA kind of cheat codes, more so typing in a code that the game gave for you to make it to a certain point in the game and then entering it from a different source not given to you by the game. But over time developers wanted to get more creative, to add things in the game to possibly help the player just to change up the gameplay a little bit. So when cheat codes became a big thing in almost every game Scholastic said, Oh! and created this. Here we have Cheat Code Explosion, a book created by Scholastic, or at least sold by Scholastic. It's all about, yup, you guessed it, cheat codes. This version here is the 2014 edition, and holy sh**, there's two whole books in here, handheld and console. We gotta open this up. A big gimmick with these books is that it was pegged as being two books instead of just one. There are cheat code books out there, some handheld and some consoles, but why buy those when you can just get it for the price of one? I have the 2014 version here, so most of the codes are from the 7th generation console with some 8th gen stuff sprinkled in there, you know, if you were the spoiled rich kid who could afford a PS4 at the time. I don't really have too many memories about this book, but there was a couple times I'd go in there hoping to have some fun before realizing, ah sh**, I don't have Phineas and Ferb. Unfortunately, during the 7th and 8th generation of consoles, cheat codes weren't nearly as prevalent as previous generations, so a lot of the codes in this book are still pretty meh. Still some good ones in here, but overall it's kind of a lame sh**. Oh, excuse me, my mailbox is ringing. One second. So it looks like I've been cordially invited to the Cheat Code Reunited Extravaganza. I'll meet him at these coordinates. I didn't know that exists, but uh, if I leave tonight, I should get there in time. I gotta get ready. Perfect. So according to the GPS, it's a good few hours away. Man, driving is so boring. Let's have a look at some more cheat codes. So, let's go. 
I don't know. I don't have much contact with them outside there, but... Wait, so we don't even know if he's coming? Just gotta trust it. He'll eventually come. Okay. I'll get to the edge. You guys want anything? Yeah, can I have Taco Bell? Yeah. What should I put on video dress? Coordinates. These are the coordinates where the uh, cheat code reunited extravaganza is being held. Oh look, there's a fun looking group of people. They don't look like they're partying though, but if I had to guess, they're probably waiting for Taco Bell DoorDash. So just, just a guess though. Hey, are you guys holding the cheat code reunited extravaganza? No. Oh, sorry, wrong place. No, this is the right place. Uh, clearly not. No, this is just a ruse. There's no cheat code extravaganza. What? You son of a bitch, you lied to me! How could you? This is a sacred event! You need to stop discussing cheat codes. They're outdated and obsolete. If you don't, we're gonna take drastic actions. That is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Fine, do your thing, minions. Wait, what about the DoorDash? Food's gonna get here eventually, right? So this sucks. Man, all I wanted to do was talk about a cheat code book produced by Scholastic in 2014, and now I'm involved in this weird anti-cheat code cult, and they threw me in this prison that only God knows where it is. Oh, that sign explains it. Hello, Brian. I'm from Channel 6 News. Do you have any words on the uh, catastrophe that happened today that you are blatantly responsible for? What? The, the anti-cheat cult says they're going to destroy the world because you released the, the sacred entity. It was forgotten by time, known as Cheat Code Explosion 2014. They're going to destroy the world before it can. Before it ever happens again. Yeah, pretty crazy. Any news on the subject? I don't know, maybe a f that. Do you guys have a helicopter you could take me back to? Are you kidding me? Those things are expensive. We drove here. Can you give me a ride? Sure. I'm like you're that babbling fool. You can't just mess with cheat codes. And on top of that, combining with books? Like, things are meant to be digital nowadays. You can't just push buttons and ex expect to be rewarded. You know, I can't live in a world where that's a thing. I'm gonna destroy, destroy this world and rebuild a new one where I rule and cheat codes don't exist. Testing, one, two, three. What, what are you doing? I'm about to broadcast. What? Why? I'm a newscaster. I broadcast everything. There's at least a one hour segment of me just like sleeping. Uh, one, two, three, testing. John, can you hear me? Okay. All right, go ahead and start. Hello everyone, I am John Johnson, and we have breaking news. A local cult, Everything Anti-Cheat, is planning on using a giant robot. Giant robot? Uh, really? Oh, okay. A giant robot to destroy the entire world. Astronauts captured this footage from outer space just to show how bad this catastrophe really is. We now report back to Ron Jacobs in a car. Thanks, John. I'm Ron Jacobs, reporting live. I got former brief prisoner uh, and uh, cheat code activist uh, Brian Schaefer here with me. And uh, 
uh, tell me, Brian, why do you want to say che save cheat codes and cheat code explosion 2014? Okay, first of all, I had no idea this was even like happening, but cheat codes are just something really special that I used to love messing around with in games like GTA, and now it just seems like they're gone, and cheat code books like cheat code explosion 2014 hold a special place in my heart, and I don't think they should vanish away entirely. Okay, but why? Forget about it. How far are we? Okay, audience, you heard it here. He's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just, he's just lost. I don't know if you guys knew this, but outside there's a giant robot destroying everything. The entire planet. I bet that cult has something to do with this. Who could have done that? It was us. Why would you do that? Our leader told us to, but we're starting to realize that it was a lie and he could be corrupt. Yeah. Why does he hate cheat codes so much anyway? Yeah, it's kind of a dark past with him. It all started in 1999 BC, when he was playing GTA San Andreas on the PS2. There weren't phones back then, it, obviously, but he, so anyway, he, uh, he had to find cheat code books and write them down. But when his mother was cleaning out his room one day, she accidentally threw away the entire notebook. Hours of writing gone forever. That's it? So after that, it's like he just wants to destroy the world. Don't pretend like he wouldn't do the same. <laughs> yeah, true. Don't worry though, we're here to help. We think that our leader has gone fucking mad and we think that he could be wrong about some things. Okay, four people is better than one, I guess. Let's get started. Okay guys, here's the plan. So he has a giant robot, that means we gotta get a giant robot. Easy. So I'm gonna draw it out, and then we're gonna build it. Does that sound good? Yeah, yes. let's do it. Finally done. And it only took us a couple hours too. All right, guys, I'm going in. Okay. Wish me luck. Damn it, the DoorDash! What the hell? You think you can stop Cheat Cold's cult leader? I won't allow it! Ugh, Brian, I thought I was rid of you. What are you doing back here? Don't worry about that. All you gotta know is that Cheat Codes are safe. What? That has literally never happened within the entire history of me talking about video games. I did manage to defeat the cult leader and save the world, but after seeing all the trouble these cheat codes have caused, maybe they're just better left in the past. Many games now have accessible easy modes, DLC, and unlockables, and they're honestly just pretty obsolete. They still hold a special place in my heart, I'm just going to be sad to see that little book go. You know, we heard how much you're bitching about cheat codes. Here you go, buddy. Whoa! Where'd you guys find this? Yeah, no, we just bought it online. Oh. You know, now that me and him are cold members, are you hiring? Uh, actually, we are. We're looking for a webman and a co-host. Because, I mean, right now, it's like me and John. That's about it. Dude, that'd be great, huh? Yeah, no, I'm gonna... Oh, great! I guess cheat codes are safe now. The cult has been deformed, and I can finally rest knowing that the world is safe. I think we're forgetting something. There's a knack too!
No, be like, it was us. It was us. <laughs> you just vibe with him. No, I think you're all so, pretty stupid. So, like, kind of up like this, and we're all kind of jumbled like, in the like, frame. Like that? Like, like this? <laughs>